Beloved congregation, last week we considered the healing of Naaman the leper. He had gone to Israel, he had ended up at Elisha's gate, but only got a message to go and wash in the Jordan. Recall how in anger he had turned away to go home, but then his servants had reasoned with him and he had gone down and humbled himself and washed in the Jordan and came out clean. And he had returned to Elisha with that confession of the true God and to offer gifts which Elisha didn't receive and to ask for pardon and to express his desire to worship the Lord God of Israel only. And then these two men, Elisha and Naaman, they parted. But now today, I'd like to come back and, as I said before we read the scriptures, look at actually two more people in this passage that we need to consider. This morning, we'll circle back and take a longer look at the providential circumstances of the life of this little maid and her remarkable response to those circumstances and what we can learn from them. And then tonight, Lord willing, we'll hope to turn to the final character in this story, the covetous and idolatrous Gehazi, as he follows after Naaman, and that in connection with Lord's Day 34. But this morning then, this little maid, let me read again these words of our text. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And she.